Magic Farm with me, Sid, and we are no longer accompanied in a bed by Brian because Brian has had his own little dog bed built. And there's Brian, it's labelled, he's got his little water bucket next door, and he knows I've got a steak. Because the last few times I spoke to him, I haven't had a steak for him, and look, he wants it. You want this, don't you? You do. You want it, don't you, Brian? Are you a good dog? You a good there you go. Ah. There we are. Okay, uh, moving on. Uh, da -da -da, nothing. Oh, down here. I've had a bit of a cooking session, so I've uh, got my breakfast out. I've made a foot long, stuffed eggplants and cherry. I think that's cherry pie. So yeah, we've got a selection of food made. Um, out here, I realised that I was getting, shall we say, lost on one of the objectives, so I built a to-do board out of bamboo. These are bamboo blocks, um, so we've got uh, various to-do items, there are certain things I want to do, multi-farm being what, shush chickens, I'm trying to, things, multi-farm being one, um, do need to get a centrifuge to get the do some stuff with that honey. Uh, we've got fermenter, rain muffler is a block I want to do. Th I am going to do some thorn craft, um, but before you go, oh my god, not thorn craft, craft even. Um, I'm not going to be doing a hell of a lot of that on camera. It's tedious in the extreme to watch someone researching thorn craft recipes. So yeah, but we're going to have to do that. I want to get a power network, bring power over to the main house, and I also want to build a sawmill. So let's go and grab what I need. I've between episodes I've been and done some mining, hence why suddenly this appetite has appeared. Uh, we'll have a stack of that, and we'll turn it into you stone bricks. Oh God, we'll get there. Ah, plank, 64 stone bricks, I do need some wood, so we'll go and grab some of that. Du -du -du. We'll take plain ordinary, in fact we've got any wooden slabs, oak wood slabs, oak wood slabs, uh, bricks, oak wood slabs, du -du -du. Copper, copper is over in the other side. I'm just trying to think what I need for these farm blocks because, as I say, unfortunately, any eye recipes don't work for forestry in this particular version of the mod pack. Nothing much gone over here. The papaya are growing nicely. Hopefully, these are mutating. I can't tell because the leaves are not really showing any signs of mutation. I'll probably just have to graft the lot. I processed all those ores and I've been mining and I've got a bunch more. So I've got eight more tin. So we'll, uh, we'll whack those in because I'm gonna, definitely going to need the tin. Now what did we have in here? I had some tin electron tubes. I need 36 of these and I should have now some tin I can find them. So many damn metals in this game. Cobalt, lead, silver, aluminium, aluminium, invar. You know, I'm beginning to doubt whether I even ever smelted that tin. <laughs> oh, I made ten far. I already made ten, so that must be. Uh, yeah, the tin electron tubes, and I've got some more copper as well. I'm going to need some of that, uh, and it's two for every one, so 36 is going to be 64. Let's let's do about uh, break about six of those up. No, nope, need slightly more. Oh. To do 
Oh, so that should give me plenty of that. I've got plenty of those. Plenty of that. Uh, I should now be able to make those electron tube um, farm blocks. So where are we? 18 electron tubes. Copper. Copper. Stone brick. Half slab, half slab. Nope, all the way around. Okay, so that should. That's 28. So I'm still shy. <laughs> a bunch of. Oh, I suppose I should leave that lot in there. Still but shy a bunch of these. Um, how many? That's eight more to make. I'm sure I had more tin. God damn it, where are you, tin? Oh, incidentally, the fruit picker. Um, I had a Stirling engine running and it blew up. So the fruit picker is now in the box, out of the way. Bronze, silver, block of tin. So that's tin. So that gives me another 18 which if I get the thermionic fabricator going so I need what, that's five another five done the gold electron tubes they go in there whack it all back on and that should give me enough electron tubes to make Give me eight, which will give me thirty-six, which is enough to make a three by three farm. Okay, I'm going to let that run because um, it's going to take a short while, and I'll be right back. In the meantime, I will probably drag together the stuff I need to make the sawmill. Okay, so one thing I just noticed or realised that I need to make this sawmill in the um, tougher version of the recipes with Tinker's Construct is Alimite and I am completely out of obsidian so fortunately there was a little bit that formed down here so I'm going to grab this and be right back at the smelter okay so back at the smelter now Alimite is a mixture of five aluminium ingots, two iron and two obsidian. So they're going to take a while to smell. I've smelted the three alumite ingots I already had and that wasn't enough to fill this mould. And I do have to come clean and say that that machine blade mould I had to cheat in. Um, I can find Where's the drafting table? Oh, within these, I haven't got any blank patterns, I don't think, so I can't show you that easily. In here, there is no option to make a machine blade pattern. I've read the wiki, I've read pretty much everything I can find on Tinker's Construct, and there is no mention of any way of crafting this blade so I don't know whether it's a bug or whether I'm just completely stupid but um, yeah so at the moment you can see we've got the mixture of alloys but as soon as these two finish melting yeah so because this is key this is used for the quarry which I would like to build at some point uh, and other various bits and pieces I decided that enough was enough I pulled one of those in got rid of the materials that would have been used to make the mould and interesting three molten alumite which will hopefully oh come on oh you get need more aluminium and uh, 
Right, where's my aluminium? Uh, aluminium. One, two, three, four, five. And two. Right. You get two ingots worth for every block of um, obsidian. So, we've got 28 of those. I've got another eight of those. I've got the crafting recipe in for every, barring the blade for the sawmill. Um, so we've got the oak planks, we've got a standard machine frame, a standard recipe, redstone, bit of copper and I'm just thinking where I want to put this, probably well I can s let me just check the powered furnace uh, let me oops, turn off its output and it can get the sawmill can go there now where did I put my conduits there blue 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 bonk mm, shouldn't need any more of that for now we'll need an awful lot when I come to wiring this multi farm so we should be showing another three old ingots worth of alumite so I, sh I can just Now we got to basically that and that. And we'll, we'll turn this back over to ingot mode. Ingot mode. <laughs> so, yep. Yeah. Right. So we add the alumite blade and bang, we got a sawmill. Now, the sawmill. Apart from having no power because I've got the cube turned off, is pretty damn good. Let me turn that back off again. Let me. Have I got any ordinary timber? No. Oh, it's getting dark. I'll go and grab some wood, sleep, and we'll do it. So basically, the sawmill will saw your logs. So if I go and grab. Uh, what shall we use? I'll just grab some of those. Uh, I'm not sure whether it works with non-vanilla logs. I'll have some vanilla logs too. Go and sleep. So it saws the logs, but instead of giving you just the logs, it also produces sawdust, and sawdust can be then compacted, which can then be burned and fired to make charcoal so it kind of things now I can't remember whether it gives you six planks per log either so we'll just double check that but it's effectively a method of processing your wood while we're here sawmill made That is going to be useful for me. Okay, so here's our sawmill. Um, I'm going to stick in one log. So no, we don't get any extra. We just get four planks, but we get sawdust. So if I stick those in, that's going to run through, black those out, and we'll get these sawdust blocks out. Now, while that's doing... I need to go back to making that five, six, seven, eight, thirty-six farm blocks. Lovely. So that gives us our starting position. That's chunking away happily. Um, obviously, the power has been drawn from in there. I've got the, all the uh, engines off at the moment as well because I don't want to drain the uh, redstone energy cubes completely. So, the next thing we need is one of those, two of those, and if I remember correctly, which is highly unlikely, that 
that makes us a farm control block. Now the other thing we're going to need is oh, bomb. Make a stack of sticks. Is tin gears, so they are going to be. I'm trying to think. It's three, two, and one. I think it's six. I probably made one too many there. How's that going? Oh, we got, we're full on wood there, so we have to pull that out. Now we can have have a chest here, for example, and just have it push the wood out, which I'll probably do. Um, right, what was I doing? Okay, I just need to just double. Oh, I do know one thing I need, and that is a trapdoor. I've got glass, so that's okay. Now I'm guessing I'm going to need to go from there to stone. And from stone, we're probably going to go to tin which I've got 16, but I'm going to double check my recipes because I don't want to over make these after making all those damn copper tubes oh that's uh, that's empty of power I'll just let this finish quickly because I want to try it with these now what does it, does it, no yes it does, oh that's good when we're getting the sawdust Right, to turn that off. Does it know? Uh, da -da. What was I going to say? I'm going to check the recipe, so I'll be right back. Okay, I was right. It is six, so I'll dump one of those out there. Stick that in there. Need to go and grab my tin. Sixteen isn't going to be enough. That's only enough for four. So... That will be enough, just. The amount of tin I actually required for this was pretty damn ludicrous to say the least. So we've got that, which gives me a farm gearbox. Let me get that wood out of the way. Take that out of the way do that and that will give me a farm valve and oops trap doors that will give me a farm hatch so these are the coupled with those are the items we need to make a multi farm now just while we're doing it if I grab that and uh, no, it's not like that. <laughs> it's a square of eight. Will give me those. I mean, it's not a lot. It's just five charcoal. But if I stick those in, it's it's free charcoal from your logs when you, even when you're making planks. Right, I need to empty my inventory a bit of crap. I'll tidy that up later because the next thing I need apart from more of those stone bricks is a place to make this now to me the obvious place is because we've got a power matrix here um, I could for example break this this one out leave these three running through there, this one running to the power the multi-farm and we do the multi-farm out here so basically I'm going to probably end up with loads of seeds here but a multi-farm is this particular one is going to be 3x3 three three. I don't know why I'm doing this, I've got a spade with me and it goes out 4 from here 
one, two, three, four. And from here it goes out four. From here four. That water might be a bit of a problem, but we'll deal with that. So that is the basic shape that the multi-farm is going to cover. One, two, three, four, and then you've got your one, two, three in the middle. I'm going to dig that down just one more so I don't get myself confused. I know it's easy. I get confused very easily. It's my age. Alzheimer's is setting in, you know. <laughs> Shouldn't joke about that, actually. It's not a, a pleasant disease by any means. So, yeah. If I offended anybody, sorry. That wasn't... Uh... Now, I need just to make sure that that is going to be covered to do <laughs> and then you go one two three now there is another machine I'm going to need for this once we're operational and that is an aqueous accumulator um, which pretty much does what it says on the tin it's accumulates aqua or water and it is a very efficient machine because it requires no power okay so that is the area our farm's going to cover and we need to fill that where the machine is going to go like with normal stone. It's basically stone to match the actual stones that you use to build the multi-blocks and you can use various things like sandstone and stone, stone, nether brick I think off the top of my head. Need more of those. I'm going to grab some more of those, get this filled out. Um, I'm also going to need to dig this down. and probably dig out underneath it as well so we get kind of like a control room so I'll get this done and I'm all prepared and I'll be right back it's thirsty work this digging <laughs> um, so I'm hollowing this space out and I decided I'm going to give this a try it's a bit uh, and it's given me haste without the nausea this time. Excellent. One. At least I didn't get nausea, which is always a plus. So, yeah, that's actually a little bit easier on the old eyes. If this was a normal shovel with efficiency, I would probably have difficulty controlling it. this thirsty work like isn't it but you know what it's like when you're doing a bit of work in the yard you really can't beat a nice cold beer just to make that work go a little bit faster what's the time we're all right for time the other thing which I was probably noted is if you press F7 in this game it will show you where mobs can spawn. So lighting this up you can see here we've got a problem there and there. That is a particularly useful tool. <coughs> Some people may say a little bit cheaty, I don't know. But that is the basic bed for the machine 
Now the next thing we need to do is to start laying these out and it's going to be a 4x3 solid cube. And what I will do is I'll just chop this out. is going to come in from the bottom here. Ooh. That's going to probably be, let's have a look, we've got the valve. So the valve will go here and water will be piped in from underneath. The gearbox is where the power comes in. So I'll probably put that there, let me just um, position that in there. This is where we find out I've not made enough. So that's my gearbox, that's where the power comes in. The control block is largely irrelevant, so that can just sit there. And the hatch is where stuff comes out, so that can sit there, and we basically You'll notice these have got lines, so if I place that and that, once it realises it's a valid multi-block structure, it puts that line around it. So that's in place. Now the other thing is I want this to be a managed farm, um, which effectively means it will only pick the fruit or the walnuts from the... Um, from the trees. Let me just put that back in because that needs to be there to be valid as well. So essentially I need to plant everything for this particular setup and there are some other steps to make this a managed farm which we will need to make some other bits and pieces for but in the meantime I can at least get the trees on and the nuts, if you'll pardon the expression, ripening. So when I do activate the farm, it actually has got something to pick. The other advantage is normally in a normal harvesting farm where it chops the trees down and replants them, it would only use that area. But, oops, because this is going to be a fruit picking farm, I can actually cut it off like that as well. Right, so the next thing I'm going to need is walnut saplings. As I say, for some reason the chestnuts didn't squeeze. I haven't tried butternuts, um, and to be honest I'm not inclined to. <laughs> I think walnuts will be more than adequate. So I should have a sweet chestnut, oak, common walnut, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and I think I should have enough space in there for four, perhaps five. Grab my thing, uh, go sleep, <laughs> and once we've got that done, that's the basic infrastructure ready to start growing the walnuts and I've just got to wire the machine in and make the minor changes to it um, to automate the process which will probably be done next episode because um, we will need to build a, I believe a carpenter uh, to make an intricate circuit board I'll need some more bloody valves <laughs> and now with a bit of luck the mobs haven't all spawned and moved into my little underground cubby good <laughs> I will get that sealed up and made safe so if I was going to place 
my walnut trees. If I were to do like that and like that. Now as far as I know, as long as a tree is in the area, it will harvest it. I could be wrong. But it will certainly harvest all the leaves in the area, so that in itself shouldn't be a biggie. Alright, let's see. Gotta get the right sapling. Bang. Yeah, it is only gonna be four. Bang. I was doing that one, wasn't I? So that should go there. Uh, which one was it? There. So that will grow. Those will obviously, those walnuts will mature quite happily. Um, just smash that down because we don't want it. And once I've got the necessary implement tools to bring it in, I will pipe power in here. We need to build an aqueous accumulator. I probably will smarten this up off camera as well so we're not in a dirt hole. This thing will take the power. The hatch will come out. We'll pump out the walnuts. They will come over to here somehow I need to get them probably through is that corner good that corner is probably good bring it in through that corner into the squeezer the squeezer will squeeze them and obviously that will then be used to power the four ones and one of them will be powering that and power should not be a problem so um, I think these are full. That one isn't far off full. We've still got loads and loads of oil. So, yeah. So I can't cross multi-farm off the list yet. You do that. Hmm? Just nobody's looking at shit. Yep, don't, don't you look away. chickens. Anyway, I can't cross the multi-farm multi off the list yet, um, but we have got that element off. I do want to get a quarry. Whether I want to do energy tesseracts is a question mark item, because I'm going to have to kill a whole load of endermen for that. <laughs> um, do need to make a centrifuge to process my honey. Um, this one will be interesting. This is just a little gizmo thing it basically muffles all the sound of rain it's a uh, thing the fermenter might be interesting because it will give me an alternative source of fuel to seeds again it's not sure we're really there and uh, we do need to make sake so that will be it for yeah you've been told that'll be it for this episode um Not hungry, so I can't eat that mango. But uh, oh, no, I can't quite make that jump. <laughs> we'll leave these to ripen, um, tidy it up a little bit, let the grass grow. Maybe put a few nice flowers or something around in here. Um, and I will see you next week. Bye for now. <laughs>